Welcome guys, thanks for checking out this video. I'm pretty excited about this one because it is official and it's finally happening that Sega are releasing the Sega Mega Drive Model 2 over here into the UK and even EU zones. Now this mini console is going to be packed with over 60 games. It's going to be 40 that's going to be from the Mega Drive. There's going to be around about 12 to 14 that's going to be Mega CD games. And then we're going to have around about seven bonus games. This is perhaps the most ambitious mini console that's going to be released to date. I did do a video about the original Mega Drive Mini that did come out. That was one of the first videos I did, so the quality wasn't the best. And even still today, I'm still working out on a fair few things. Perhaps you guys can just help this channel out by simply just hitting that like and subscribe button. It does help out a lot. Now there's definitely a fair few questions that I was still asking, especially now with this new UK release. Is it going to look like what we had back in the day? Now if we head to the official Twitter page, the announcement they say here, it's the latest comment as well from the Twitter page it says welcome to the next level mega happy to confirm the mega drive mini 2 Europe arrives on October the 27th same day as the Genesis mini 2 in North America full list of 60 plus one games including all new ports previously unreleased and Sega CD titles when this did got originally announced over in the Japan it was a bit unfortunate for a lot of people because people were expecting a Sega Saturn mini or even the Dreamcast mini but Sega did respond to this comment by saying due to the problems that we're living in at the moment the tip shortage they just can't really hit that demand so they really wanted to hit and finally bring out a Sega CD, but I was really hoping for some 32X games as well. But this is a pretty awesome device at the moment, and I can't wait to get my hands on this. Now one alarm bell already from the Twitter page that has sparked my interest is in the original video. It is, if you just go to the beginning, you see the Japanese logo. And it is announcing the Genesis variant. So I'm really hoping now we do get the UK and PAL zone type of style. I do have my original one here because I have no idea what Genesis was back in the day when I was a kid. Now this is the one I had as a kid and this is what got me into the gaming at the first place. So this is why I'm really excited about this mini variant. So we had all the black and we had the big red buttons. Nothing like what the Genesis had and over in Japan. So I'm really hoping that we get this style of build but nothing really confirming as of yet. Now this was a tease from the very beginning. It got announced over in the Japan and it was only listed as an Amazon pre-order. So there was only one place to get this. So I already had doubts from the beginning that we would get the PAL and UK zone version. And then a couple of weeks after, it did get announced that it was gonna be for pre-order over into America called the Genesis. So my hopes did spark up a bit higher because we're going to get those games translated into English. So why not just get the PAL variant over here? But we had nothing until the last announcement of game list. So each week we had a new announcement of 10 games. So I, I was building up excitement every week and then also getting a lot of doubt because I didn't think we would get this. Now one big question, what games are going to be getting? Is there anything different from the Japanese and the UK or even the American variant? Now it is looking that we are going to get the same games as American, which is pretty awesome because the game list is pretty sweet. I'm not going to go through every single game because there's a lot. But I'm just going to go through a couple of games I'm personally am excited about. So this is the American page show, so we can just get everything in English basically. So we do have the Echo CD games, the Mega CD games, not the Sega CD. And they were pretty big games and there's a lot of differences with the original Mega Drive cartridge and the CD. So we're going to get some CD audio music and then there are some added graphic enhancements as well. So pretty excited about that. One big hitter is Final Fight, Capton's answer to Streets of Rage, a pretty big hitter. And that was perhaps the best port that was available at the time. Shining 4 CD is a great RPG series that needs to see more light. Robo Eliste, or Eleste, however you pronounce that, is pretty awesome shmup, so I'm pretty excited to get my experience on that. Mega Drive of Alien Soda, I don't think that the Americans ever got that game, so I was pretty excited for the Americans that they get in that. Sonic CD is perhaps one of the best Sonic games out there, so we can finally get that. Earthworm Jim is a classic. Crusader of Century is Sega's answer to The Legend of Zelda. This does look a pr like a pretty game, but there's been some doubts of the gameplay, but I'm going to put some time into this release. Ah, Elemental Master. I did come across this a fair few years back and it's perhaps in my best list of shmup games. A pretty awesome title. Now people can experience this. Another great shmup. I do like my shmups. Another one is Hellfire, so I'm pretty excited about that. Outrun, always a classic. Lightning Force, again, perhaps one of the best shmups ever made. Another interesting release is Ranger X, a game that's never got released on any other console. 
So this was released on eBay for a very high price. I've always seen it for about 140 to about 200 pounds. Now we can officially own this on Sega hardware. They got Shining Force 2, another great entry. Rystar, which is a great platforming game by Sega himself. It's a very pretty game and really addictive. Now Streets of Rage 3, I do hope that we are gonna get the Japanese version. And in general, I do hope that they're gonna bring the Japanese ROMs along with it, much like the original Mega Drive Model 1 Mini. Vector Man 2 never got a physical release back in the day, so that's pretty interesting we're going to get that. One of my favorite games and series, Toe Jam and Ilp, uh, pla this is the, yeah, this is the second one, Panic and Funkatron. Very questionable release at the time because people like that top-down experience, but this is still a great title that really needs to get their appreciation. The Ooze does look very interesting, a 90s gooey type of game, so it's just going to be pretty fun. So I never played that, pretty interested about that one. And here are our bonus games. Well, we got Fantasy Zone, I believe that was a Master System game, so it's finally got a Mega Drive port. And then we got one Star Mobile. This never got released, but according to Reddit, this was a PC Engine game that was originally planned to be released. It is just a simple type of puzzle adventure game. And here are three titles I've never heard of for the Mega Drive. Sparta, Super Locomotive, and Devi P. Devi Pi, however you pronounce that. I think Super Locomotive was a original arcade game released in the 80s and there probably was going to be a plan to get this release on the console at one point. Now is there any titles that are going to be released on the Japanese variant that isn't coming out over to the US or even UK? Unfortunately there are some pretty big hitters and some of my favourite titles that I recently came across. Pop for Mail is a great platform adventure game with some CGI and some video so that was a pretty good experience when that first came out. Unfortunately, we're not going to get at that. And two big hitters, which is a Luna, Silver Star and Eternal Blue. Personally, I'm a big fan of the Grandia series and this was the first two big hitters that they released. So I'm pretty down about that because I've always wanted to own that physically. But we are still getting some awesome titles. You know, like Lightning Force, which is Thunder Force 4, and then Trexton, Switch Rage 3. So we are still getting some awesome hitters. Again, I really do hope, much like the original Mega Drive Mini, that we can get the alternative Japanese ROMs. Now, if you head to the official Japanese website, we can scroll down. And they are getting some extra peripherals. Profiter not profiterals, I almost said profiterals. So they have the Mega Dora Tower Mini 2. Um, I doubt we'll get this, but it'll be pretty awesome. It's just a plastic molding of how the Sega CD would look like as an attachment. It is coming with a virtual fighting cartridge mini. So just a little, probably a plastic little cutout thing. And then we do have a Sega CD one piece the disc, Mega Disc. So that looks pretty cool. And I think I would, I would go out and buy, but it's looking to be about 4,000 and well, almost about 5,000 yen. So that's about 30 pound. Uh, I will be I will put my money down for that but my doubts are pretty high if we're gonna get that over into the UK and each one is gonna come with a six button controller so we can finally play Super Street Fighter and have all the moves and buttons available for us this time I want a huge ambitious peripheral that are gonna be releasing is the cyber stick this is a pretty tasty controller if you look at more details this is Google Translate my favorite friend this is looking to be compatible with Sega's Mega Drive Mini 2. I can't really see why it won't be compatible with the original Mini, but it is possible to be played with Afterburner 2. I can't really see if this is going to be working with any other games, but perhaps getting this peripheral and setting it up to anything that you got emulated, that would be pretty sweet. Again, it is USB, so it's compatible with Windows and the Mega Drive Mini 2. It is looking to be about 9,000 yen. Poof. So that's going to be more pricier than the device itself, about 120 to 130 pound. But I can see this is going to be really well built. So just a short little video I thought I'd do for you guys because personally I'm pretty excited and let me know if you guys are in the comments section below. And as always, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you want to support this channel, click subscribe, leave your comments below and I catch you a lot on the next video. Oh, what? I just did the entire video and I didn't even notice or did it twice.